out of jail free card. Y'all gonna wanna see this. Wow! Good morning, Trigger! What's happening? I'm thinking to change my Twitter bio. One to one coaching sessions with a blue ticker can. It's here, it's now, it's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Another episode of All or Nothing, where tonight we host London Tigers, who will be making the journey down the A1. It'll take them about an hour and ten minutes over to Pixmoor Playing Fields for this lovely Tuesday night game, where it's a 7.45pm kickoff in the Spartan South Midlands Football League Division 1, where it's Letchworth Garden City Eagles v London Tigers. And the blue tech ain't on me, I can't afford to pay for that. I ain't got no sponsors. I've got dogs to feed and bills to pay. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get the ball. No! London Tigers sit 18th after 13 games on 9 points where they've won 3 and lost 10. I still don't have any records on who their manager or management team is. But since they last played us, they've had nine games where they've won three. They've lost six. So whoever's in charge from the last time you played us, you've got a win percentage of 33.33%. It's the best I can do. This is London Tigers Danger Man. I don't care about no I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. The 5th of the 2nd, 2022, Letchworth Garden City Eagles 1, London Tigers 1. Ronnie Bates with her only goal. So, without all being said, let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let me get the fuck out of here. Out the Eagles! <laughs> You've got a mentality issue within the squad. You perform against the better sides, don't beat them, but you can beat everyone outside the top four at the moment. We won seven, drawn one, lost seven, which means we're inconsistent, which means your mentality to football is off completely. So let's wake up in the morning, whether it's snowing, raining, or whatever it is, thinking, fuck me, it's game day. Someone's going to feed it today. I'm going to perform today, not just come in there and go through the motions. And that's what you're doing. Hence why our form's like that. It's all mental. What we've got, we've got two problems. We've got one, we've got too many sheep. I'll explain to you why. We play against teams who have no structure in the way they play and no discipline to the position they play. And the longer the game goes on, guess what we do? We follow it. And we come out of our structured game. Which means they're the shepherd and you guys are the sheep. And now they're dictating to you how not to play football. And then we end up in the battle. Not one person said, listen, don't fuck about. Let's get ahead on the game. Let's start the game sharp. Let's do what we're supposed to do. And let's stop fucking doing flicks or tricks. That's a shepherd. We ain't got no shepherds in this team. I need leaders out here. So we need to start sharp. We need to be serious. Saturday was no joke because the team was poor and we folded to their level and then they started jumping on the floor and doing all kinds of shit in order to kill time we're better than that you guys are better than that i shouldn't have to tell you that you're better than that you should have enough self-respect to come off that pitch thinking this ain't fucking happening again from now to the end of the season this ain't happening again it starts today on paper we beat them already so let's beat them again the mental side of it i can help you with but if you're not going to approach your game properly because we're inconsistent you're wasting your talent believe me you guys are talented this is the most frustrating thing this time last year we'll just wipe that off as a loss we didn't have the talent that we got in the change room last year i'm asking you to do what you do every week to the best that you can do and it starts today one of the main things tonight is showing reaction so it's not just showing a reaction to the management team you all owe each other a reaction we all know saturday weren't good enough <laughs> good performance in order to build consistency. So whatever they bring today, I don't give a shit about them. This is about us, what's in this change room. Today we go out and get three points. Equals on three. One, two, three. Equals! Darryl Reed, goalkeeper. Vlad has just gone forward. I didn't know you signing. Defender. 
Pepsi Thomas, defender. Sam James. Kane, midfielder. Daniel Charles, midfield. Harvey Vow, defender. Harry Dolan, midfielder. Bunny Crossman, midfielder. Ryder, centre forward. Mark Summers, striker. Cody Williams, midfielder. Luke Schimmel, midfielder. Richard Marvel, defender. Avengers! So as I contemplate my life with London Tigers getting this game underway, trying to get this video out before midnight tonight, here we go. First corner of the night to London Tigers as the balls whipped in. It's missed everyone, a little deflection that could have gone in, but we'll take the goal kick. Good to see Kane back in the squad, making his first appearance since his injury in 1972 as he plays the ball into shoot on sight, he drops the shoulder and he's knocked it over the bar. Standard, Kiwi International will play this into the Romanian Usain Bolt, but he's decided to turn into danger and he's now lost the ball to number 10. Who looks to play this in? Dunn Tigers with a chance over the bar. Alba did enough there. A Doy Ted in the Kiwi International, he should have gone long. Ball played over to number 10 for London Tigers, who does a Cruyff turn. Francis it from here, blazed it over the bar. Number 10 once again for London Tigers, he's all about the business. As London Tigers look to build and break these lines, they're holding us off. The ball's played through to number 9, but Daryl will collect that. Free kick to be played in from London Tigers. Straight into Daryl's hands, but I don't know where number 10 appeared from. Who's marking him? It's our turn to attack once again as H looks to drop the shoulder. He's had a shot to finish. He's hit the post and he's done a little busted. That's what I go to school for, jump. After this squad's far too young to remember what an elite band busted once was. As Iron Tigers look to lift this ball in, Daryl comes and claims, but it hits the back of number 9's head. Danny with an header. Kane will clear into the path of the menace. Oh, what a touch and turn that was by the menace as he is off. Looking for his options. Four London Tigers players around him as he's running towards H. Can H move out of his way? No, he's staying in his lane. Oh, Lino decided to call offside. Ball's dropped into H. And H is intercepted by number four. Anyway, go back to Busted. I mean, what an absolute band they was. And with that, the referee has called half time. Nil-nil. This is a pressurised game, gents. And we need a performance. What they're doing, they're playing the ball into their centre midfielder and just knocking around the channels with a team to adapt to it. It's no nil. We're not panicking. At the moment, you're a bunch of sheep because you've dropped your standards to this. But we need to see some shepherd in the second half. It's on you. I've said what I said before the game. I said what I said at half time and after the game on Saturday. Now it's you as men and footballers to go and do something about it. Good luck and see you in the second half. Don't overplay in our final third. So anything in here. Don't overplay. So like the one where Flavi had, yeah. he, he still didn't have a call. So he thinks that he can just. Turn. I did say no. Oh, okay. right. That's fine. Yeah. So make sure as well that we're listening to the call. And we give the fucking call. Because that could be so easy. Where Flavi got caught, and then they're in the two big one around Flavi already. Shoot on sight to get the second half underway for us. Corners at Tigers as Dempsey's nowhere near his man. He's meant to be marking. Somehow he went for an error, but he came off his knee. Cleared by Kane into the path of shoot on sight. Over to the Romanian Usain Bolt. The menace is waiting for the switch if we can. We've not spotted him yet, as the Romanian Usain Bolt has not give this up. Shoot on sight is intercepted. What's he going to do? Yep, we've lost the ball. Had defensive shapes all over the place as the ball's played through to number 10, but that's surely for ref. That's got to be a foul. That was two feet on the goalkeeper. Come on, ref. Where's your cards? London Tigers on the attack again as Adoy were clear. Ball's played into the path of number 10, who's been involved in absolutely everything today. Ball's played through. Referees give a penalty. That guy flopped quicker. And Katie Price has ever dropped her knickers. I thought we're trying to protest his innocence, but the referee's having none of it. Number seven from 12 yards, does a little dance, hop, skip, and a jump. He sent Daryl the wrong way, but he's missed it. He's hit the post, and it's still nil nil. We are back in this. Well, it was never out of it, really. It's been all London Tigers so far this half. We cannot get a foot in this half. Grab it by the scruff of the neck and control it. As London Tigers whip a corner in, it was cleared, but now they're on the tack again as the cross is finally delivered. And Adoy will clear into shoot on sight. He's got one in front of him. He's got the menace to the side of him. It is three on two. Can he play the ball through? No. Nope. You've got to be fucking winding me up right now. You really are. London Tigers to whip this ball in. There's two on one here. As it's full and nice for number 11. Who has a shot? Daryl was pushed wide. But it's offside. Can someone come and collect their dad please? He's clearly drunk. I need help. Still all London Tigers as that ball's played in. The number 10's made a last minute run as he tucks it back. Shot through bodies 
and it's 1-0 London Tigers. It's been coming, it's been all to them this half. We have struggled, even though London Tigers are 1-0 up. They're now down to 10 men. One of their players kicked one of ours off the ball. The Lionel saw it, flagged to the ref. They are now down to 10. He's been given his orders. Now is the time for us to put pressure as Sammy puts that ball in. Summers is half gone for it. Did he think the keeper was coming out and he stopped? That's been our best chance this half and we've played half an hour. Free kick played in. All the way to that post. Summers into the keeper's hands. Another chance. Kano to deliver this ball. Dangerous area. It's away by London Tigers. But the menace would claim that. Into Kenny Loggins, who has a shot. It's just wide at a post. Shouldn't have taken them going down to 10 for us to wake up. Another corner played in. It's not attacked. It's away by London Tigers. Another opportunity goes wasted with only a few minutes remaining. Another corner played in by Letchworth. It doesn't beat the first man. The menace has a shot. We're claiming another corner. It's not been given. And another chance goes begging with minutes to go. This is the last kick of the game. All of our players are in the box. The goalkeeper's up. They're 1-0 up. They're down to 10 men. The ball's played in. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Richard, the most handsome man in football. Yes! In the dying few seconds of this game, we've pulled it back to 1-1. All the action happens. Down at Pixmore. More action happens here than an episode of EastEnders. Get your tickets on the gate. And that was the last kick of the game as the referee is now called full time 1 1. We've got natural defenders playing us into trouble. We've got natural defenders getting spun in the box and giving away penalties. Why are you looking me in my face? Look at me in my face. You're fucking conceding goals against shit teams. These people should be lacing your boots. I don't know what you're doing today. It was not on the football piece today. At all. We work hard in training to do the right things to do. We could just say, go along. Like, stop what I'm doing. Just bypass the midfield and just go along. We wouldn't need to play football. That's three bad games, man. The one that we won, don't get twisted out of 10 minutes. Angle's under pressure. We played shit. I'm here on a, on a journey with you guys and I have to work with what I've got at the moment. See you on Thursday. Anyone that don't come, don't come back. Leave your tracksuit here today. Richard, another disappointing result for the boys. A 1-1 against 10 men. I guess the only highlight was your peach of a goal. Talk us through it. What happened out there today? Didn't start quick. We came out in the second half, slow again, and conceded a goal because of it. It took them to get down to 10 men before we put any pressure on, and still, we struggled to create chances. So, yeah, really disappointing. Talk to me about your goal. Corner ball whipped in. Kane laid it off to you. Did you look to square it, or you thought, I'm having this all day long? Ah, uh, no. All I could see was a goal. I had three players coming at me, and I knew I had to put it in that far corner on my left leg I just had to make the best contacts possible and luckily found it back in the net. Another poor performance by us. We're going through a blip at the moment and we need to try and turn it around quite fast. Because while we're playing teams at the bottom of the league, they're rubbing their hands together and thinking they can get results against us. Some of them are showing it. And next start, bottom of the league. You know what to do. Till next time. ta -la. He deserves it for this one to go. Richard, get that song on! <laughs> Down, then we're gonna ride. Cause I choose.